it's time for another bedtime story. Get comfortable in your bed and listen to me closely. Before going to sleep, Eve always hugs her daddy and asks him a puzzling question. For example, on Monday night, she asked why children lose their baby teeth. But Daddy soon had an answer to this question and told his daughter a story about the Tooth Fairy. On Wednesday, Eve asked him why animals yawn. In his answer, Daddy told her lots of interesting facts. For example, fish yawn before starting to swim faster. And on Friday, she wondered why the moon never falls to the ground. This question turned out to be more difficult than the other ones. But Daddy again found an answer. The girl always listened carefully to her father and remembered everything he said to her. Eve enjoys asking questions and Daddy likes answering them. Tonight, Eve once again hugged her Daddy and asked him a new question. Can you teach me how to make up dreams? Yesterday, I had a bad dream. I don't want to have bad dreams anymore, she said. Daddy was thoughtful for a while. What dream did you have yesterday? He asked. All night long, I dreamed about an evil green dinosaur chasing me to eat me up, replied Eve. Daddy was quiet as he thought. What toy did you sleep with last night? He finally asked. Eve turned over on her side, took a toy from under the pillow, and showed it to her daddy. She was holding a green dinosaur in her hands. The toy was so realistic that you could see wrinkles on the dinosaur's skin and count sharp white teeth in its mouth. There you are, my dear. Yesterday, you played so much with the dinosaur that you dreamed about it, said Daddy. Then he stood up and went to the toy closet. Daddy reached up to the basket on the top shelf and pulled out a long-forgotten soft stuffed kitty. Take this. You haven't played with this toy for a long time. This stuffed kitty will help you have a good dream tonight, Daddy said lovingly. Eve hugged the kitty tightly and closed her eyes. Her breath became slow and even, and she fell asleep. That night, the girl had a very sweet dream. Do you want to know which one? Then close your eyes and listen to me carefully. The room got brighter. Eve heard a sound coming from the closet. Meow. 
she jumped out of bed and ran to the closet. There, on the shelf, was a real little kitten. Eve was very happy to see such a surprise. She took the kitten in her hands and began to play with it. She tied a bow on a string and started running across the room. And the kitten, of course, ran after her, trying to catch the bow with its paw. Eve jumped onto the bed, and the kitten did the same. The girl climbed onto the table, and the kitten followed her. The girl ran to the kitchen, and the kitten ran after her too. They reached the kitchen, and Eve decided to feed the kitten. Are you hungry? she asked. Answered the kitten. The girl brought out the cornflakes. But the kitten turned away from the cup. The girl brought an apple to the kitten. But the kitten did not want to eat it. So Eve poured fresh milk into a bowl. The kitten licked its little mouth and began to lap up milk. And the girl laughed loudly when she saw the kitten's nose dripping with milk. Then Eve decided to get the kitten to sleep and made a bed for it in an old cardboard box. Will you sleep in this bed? asked Eve. Answered the kitten again. So the girl put a towel on the bottom of the box with her winter hat instead of a pillow. After that, she turned on a music box with a sweet lullaby and put the kitten into the box. The kitten lay down on a towel and closed its eyes. But as soon as Eve looked away, it playfully jumped out of the box, took the hat in its mouth, and dragged it across the floor. So Eve scooped up the kitten and set it in a toy truck. Do you want to drive a car? she asked. Answered the kitten. But even there the kitten could not sit still. It jumped out of the truck and began playfully to bat at the wheels. What a funny kitten it was! And then Eve heard her daddy's voice. Daddy was sitting next to her on the bed and gently waking his daughter up. It's time to wake up. We don't want to be late for kindergarten. Eve looked around and saw the stuffed kitty in her bed. She realized that it had been a dream. Daddy, we did it! Last night I had a very nice dream where I played with a real kitten, Eve said happily. Daddy was very glad that he could help his daughter, and they went to the bathroom together to brush their teeth. My dear child, you can take your favorite toys to bed too. They will be sure to help you relax and fall asleep. Always think about good things and you will have 
good dreams. Now, lie down, get comfortable, and go to sleep. Sweet dreams, my child. <laughs>